Every curious mind has lots of unanswered questions about our universe and celestial bodies. So, let's begin the question answer session. How are the waves detected? So basically what a gravitational wave does is it compresses and expands space, right? So it actually changes, uh, let's say one kilometer, what is actually one kilometer keeps on changing, right? So there's actually change of space itself. So have you all, have you people heard of something called the interference experiment? Okay. So basically what you do is you know that light light travels uh, in uh, waves. Have you seen the, what happens when two waves interact with each other on the surface of a pond? So you, you throw a stone, the waves start moving outwards, they hit an obst uh, object and they come back. And when they come back, the two waves actually start oscillating at the same time. And sometimes the waves will add up with each other and sometimes the wave will kill each other. Right? So this phenomenon is called interference of waves. So you can use interference of waves, it's a, something that you will learn, to find out what is the distance between two objects. Right? If you send a wave light from here to here and bounce again, you can actually very precisely measure this distance. Right? So that's how they used a laser which has very well defined photons of precisely the same nature to find out how this distance between two mirrors was changing. And that is how they detected that a wave passed through that region because when, it, the, when the gravitational wave passed through that region, the distance between the mirrors changed. So that's how they did it. Okay. Discovery of gravitational uh, waves means how it will help in future discoveries of astronomical. The, the prediction is that there will be many such events that generate gravitational waves happening all over the sky, uh, which so far we have not detected. We didn't have the instruments capable of detecting it. And last year we had two detections, early this year. Now we've got a new sort of way to look at the universe and we don't really know what we're going to see. So we may just see something completely, you know, that we don't expect. Okay.